Hi, welcome to our presentation on an adversarial approach to private flocking in mobile robot teams. With enough training, humans can achieve the level of formation flight control shown on the left. Yet nature easily does resilient flocking on a much larger scale. Furthermore, on the left we have an obvious team leader. While in natural flock system, it is hard to tell whether there is one, and certainly not which one it is. We asked ourselves, can we use learning to implement multi-robot system that strives to achieve the latter? In this work, we introduced the problem of private flocking. We consider a team of mobile robots flocking in the presence of an adversary, who is interested in identifying the team's leader. We then propose a method which generates private flocking controllers that hide the identity of the leader robot. We consider the problem of optimizing a multi-objective function. The first objective states that we desire efficient three-dimensional flocking of a team of mobile robots that follows a trajectory only known to a single leader robot, and the second objective states that we desire privacy of this leadership, that is, making it challenging for an artificial or human adversary to correctly identify the leader of the flock. In our work, we implement the following objective functions. The flocking performance is measured as a linear combination of nine metrics, and privacy is quantified by a metric which is inversely proportional to a convolutional neural network discriminator's classification loss. The two objectives are hard to achieve even separately. On the one hand, the controller running on each robot has seventeen parameters. The global optimum may not be easily found with conventional approaches in a large parameter space with many local minima. On the other hand, the analytical model for adversary is intractable for a multi-agent 3D problem. Furthermore, the two objectives are conflicting, making the optimization problem hard to solve and difficult to lead to convergence when approached iteratively. Our method can be visualized as in this block diagram. We first encode the robotic controllers of our flock as the chromosomes of a genetic algorithm, which are evolved using classical genetic operators, and then fed into a simulation setup based on the Unreal Engine 4 and Microsoft's AirSyn. The distinctive trait of our work is that the results of these simulations then follow two parallel routes towards the flocking performance and privacy objective functions. On one hand, trajectories are used to compute nine flock quality metrics. These include average flock velocity, trajectory tracking error, and others to improve flocking performance. On the other hand, the same trajectories are given to an adversary trying to identify the flock's leader. In our implementation, we design our adversary as a convolutional neural network with architecture shown here, with convolutional batch norm, and max pooling layers, followed by two linear ones. To refine both models, the GA provides the CNN with examples of good flocking, and the convolutional neural network feeds back its classification loss, which is factored in the GA's fitness function. In our experiments, the flock consists of nine quacopters that do not exploit explicit communication. One of these quacopters is the leader. The leader alone has information about the reference trajectory, which is one of three different types, line, sign, or chevron. The population size of the GA is 10 and evolved over 50 generations for each of the three trajectories using SGA, simple genetic algorithm. At every generation, a three-minute flock flight simulation is executed for each of the 10 new chromosomes in AirSyn. Our adversary, the CNN is pre-trained for 150 epochs on 2,000 hand-tuned training samples. The samples are of a mix of three leader reference trajectories. This is to establish reasonable privacy feedback from the discriminator at the beginning of the co-optimization process. Then, the CNN is updated via online training with the 100 most recent good flocking chromosomes generated by the GA. Comparing trajectories generated by the champion chromosomes 
with respect to performance loss on the left and the GA loss on the right, it can be shown that the private trajectories on the right tend to be slightly slower and less smooth. The desired evolution of the genetic algorithm is demonstrated by the presence of more and more points in the bottom left corner of each square, which is good privacy and good flocking, when going from left to right of the group plot as the evolution progresses. Note that the dots in the top left corner of each square are trivial solutions with good flocking but very poor privacy. Results here are reported for three separate evolution processes, one for each of the trajectory types. From left to right, we present plots for different metrics. The first is the flocking performance loss over the 50 generations. The blue distribution describes the evolution of the performance loss for the chromosomes in the GS population, while the red one describes the evolution for the experimental chromosomes. It can be seen that SGA efficiently reaches good values of performance loss within 10 generations and for all reference trajectories. The second refers to the GA loss, where similar trends with the first can be observed. The third plot displays the evolution of the distribution of privacy loss as well as the training accuracy of the CNN. Notably, here, improvements in privacy loss are slower than those in performance loss and the training accuracy of the CNN converges slower for the sign reference trajectory. In the plot here, discriminator D hat prey is pre-trained on a combination of three trajectories, while the others are then trained during co-optimization, each on a specific trajectory. When tested against optimized newly generated trajectories, we observe that the co-optimized discriminators achieve on par or better performance when tested against the specific trajectory they were trained online with, and generalization between line and chevron trajectories are good, probably because the observed trajectories within the discriminator observation window for chevron is mostly straight line. If add white noise to the discriminator observations, up to variance 1, the performance only slightly degrees, suggesting that the discriminators are moderately robust to noise. With larger variance, the noise has comparable scale to the flock spacing. Although the co-optimized discriminators cannot maintain optimal accuracy, they show much better accuracy than the pre-trained one. These are the optimized flocking parameters after convergence. One of the most interesting results is that we can see that they converge to different values for the three different trajectories. This first video summarizes the evolution process of a private flock in AirSim. As a bonus clip, since the submission of this work, we have been focusing on real robotic hardware. These are some of the flight replays of evolved flocking controllers in BitCrazy's CrazyFly Nano Quacopters. To conclude, we introduced the problem of private flocking and presented a data-driven co-optimization scheme to generate robot controller solutions. We can see that, despite the large parameter space, a GA is able to find good flocking solutions and including privacy does not appear to harm flocking convergence, yet it slows the process. In our approach, the discriminator performance is also simultaneously improved. When compared the final performance across different trajectory classes, the genetic loss converges quicker for the sign reference trajectory. We postulate that the similar performance of chevron and line derives from the fact that they are both composed of straight lines, 
and indicates that it is more difficult to hide a leader along these linear segments. In our future work, we intend to explore how the flock will behave in a physical setup with real robots and a realistic adversary. Thank you for listening.